Welcome to Golf Getaway and welcome to Bonville, the Augusta of Australia. A bucket list golf course for so many people. Situated halfway between Sydney and Brisbane on the beautiful Coffs Coast, Bonville Golf Resort is acknowledged as one of the world's most beautiful golf courses and a three-time winner of Australia's leading golf resort. Today, we'll show you all around, including the One Hat Restaurant, some pro tips, and talk to Brad Damon, who's been in town for over 20 years and knows every secret. Sean Fade Fade took up golf at 30. Plays off 10. Ugly on and off the tee. Bad left fade. Renowned tee dancer. Loved celebrating his good putts. Yeah, you beauty! Very loudly. Yeah. Andrew Murray Two year greenhorn addicted to golf. Looks the business but takes forever to hit. Plays off 10. Always recording his stats. Stronger than he looks, or so he says. Loves mirrors. Hi there, I'm Andrew Mira McComb. And I'm Sean Fade Fay, and welcome to Bonville. This 6,100 metre par 72 championship course was opened in just 1992 and has been making a name for itself ever since. Hark, do I hear the birds are calling? Let's go. The first at Bonville is a 380 metre par four and it's the second hardest hole. <laughs> Good morning and welcome. There's a bunker to the left, fairway bunker. You aim for that, but be careful of that creek on the right. With my fate, I could be in there early. Whew. They describe the bunker in front as simply cavernous. Usual fiddle fade? Usual fiddle. Five, five, five. Good luck, mate. Mugs away. Great shot, fade. Parts. I'll take a bogey on the first. Hang on a second, mate. Look at that. Beautiful, eh? Hey, hey, how's, that? how's that to start the day? We're at the second, and already we're at the signature hole. And it's unusual to have a par four as your signature hole, but this one is worth it. What makes it so special with the mountains in the background? Little geography lesson here for you, Mirror. You know the Great Dividing Range? Well, this is a fingerling that comes off those Great Dividing Range, which is why Coffs is called From the Mountains to the Sea. Very good. Par four, 336 metres. Get over that bunker, you'll have a crack. I'll give you? it a nudge. I'll give it a nudge. Oh, good on you. Oh, I think you've made it. Made it? I think I've doubled it. Oh, great shot, Fade. <laughs> hey? Nice shot. Oh, well done. Well done. Good yeah, shot. Well, two up, Fade. It's a beauty. Dazzling. What, for me? Or the course? Ooh. -hoo. come to the first of the par fives and this one's tricky. We've got to hit it right in the middle of the saddle down there but we can't go too long because there's a massive gorge that we've got to keep an eye on Fade. 
It's a 485 metre par five. I won't get to that gorge. Give it a Mate, crack. Not a month of Sunday. Wow, you got out of that ravine all right, Faye, didn't you? I've dug myself out of bigger holes than that in my life, Mirror. You're all square. The eighth, our third par three already, but this is the toughest. It's 182 metres. There's water in the front, bunkers to the right. As we come up to the clubhouse. <laughs> nearest the pin? Yeah, nearest the pin. Hang on, hang on. What are you heading, Fade? It's my three wood. Oh, that's embarrassing, mate, coming up to the clubhouse with a three-wood on a par three. That's a long hole. Let's we'll see who's laughing at the end of it. Oh, it's short. Yeah, yeah, closer to the pin. Another one. Gee, that three-wood of yours went short, didn't it? On a par three. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, you can have that. Nice hole though, Fade. Beautiful. Our third par five, the tenth. It's reasonably short at only 460 metres, but it's very tough. Three very distinct islands that the website suggests we want to island hop, or if you're a big hitter, you can hit it in two. You'd have a crack in two, wouldn't you? Oh, come on, Fade, all this macho talk, I'm going to island hop. I remember a little noise from a few shows back. Was it meow? Let's see how you go, buddy. <laughs> Tricked you, Fade, after such a great drive, I'm going in two. Fingers crossed for you. <laughs> Gee, that tent was a bit longer than it looked, wasn't it? You're supposed to island hop, not water ski. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a five from there any day. Really wrap with that. Julian, do you have to be this tall to play the game, or, or can you play at my size? You can play it at your size. My size is better. You can use <laughs> I can imagine stuff. it is. I can imagine. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting it thin, I'm hitting it fat. Can you got any ideas to help, help me shift through the ball? OK, so what we've, what we've got here today, we've got a ball that we're going to put underneath your back foot. The simple idea with that is to get your weight transferring correctly, clean up that, that contact Under my back ball. foot? Under your back foot. Like the match... The princess and the pea. That's it. <laughs> All That's right. it. So hopefully you can feel it there. So yeah, when I you can. Sw swing back, you'll load up onto the ball and then swing through, get all of your weight off it. You don't want to feel it at all. So I'm, uh, my weight's on it. Yep. And then oh, I still had a bit of weight on it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it's a bit of a problem for you. But that's it well, shot. though. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm a natural. You carry one around all day. The hardest hole here at Bonville, the 12th. It's a 404 metre par four. What a beautiful golf hole. Just look at that. You can have a crack over the trees or lay up to those bunkers. I'll be laying up, but oh, Meryl will have a crack, yeah. There's water in front as well.
<laughs> Par on the hardest mirror, take it and run. Happy with that, mate. Especially that's a tricky dog leg right, isn't it? <laughs> Feel inspired to play great golf courses? Visit the IC Golf website, the home of social golf, for last minute deals at a course near you. Book a round online today. Great courses, great deals at icgolf.com forward slash tea times. I'm Golf Getaway. Brad Damon is here with Clubhouse Secret. Brad, welcome. Cheers, Fade. You've been a part of this course, either as the pro or the general manager for the last 20 years. You must have seen some amazing changes. Tell us about those. Yeah, I have. I was a, a young pro when I came here and it was a, a raw product. And uh, we've watched it grow into what it is today. I've watched changes of owners, uh, my own change of role so I could have a bit more impact in the property. And it's been a great ride so far. The course is very like Augusta. I'm, I'm feeling like I need a green jacket sitting here in front of this firehouse chat. Um, you must have seen a lot of stars come through the place. Yeah, we're linked with celebrity. We've got a lot of celebrity members. Uh, they like to come up here. This is their place to unwind. And we spent seven years as the home of the Wallabies, which was a great time as well. We've got a great sort of affiliation with the Wallabies and, and with John Earls, who's remained affiliated with the property. You've made cuisine a big feature of what you do. Why? To create the overall experience, Fade. I think people want more than just a game of golf. The golf's very important, obviously. But people come from a long way away and it's, it's our job to make sure their overall stay is great. The overall experience has got to be good and let's face it, the food and beverage is a major part of that because it helps you forget about some of the shots you played out there. <laughs> You've won a chef's hat, which is very unusual for a golf club. Yeah, golf that's course. very proud of that. That's um, been 10 years of hard work, just incremental improvements, just gradually improving the training of staff, quality of food, quality of chefs, and just getting it to the point where we reach that pinnacle and we're the only golf course in Australia to have ever done that at this point. Well, I've eaten here and it's very impressive. Thanks. But in the meantime, I hear you're not a bad hand on a golf club. Used to be. Golf Getaway has a tradition closest to the pin. Let's get your Augusta gear off, <laughs> get your golf gear on, and we'll see you on the 17th. You're on. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Brad, your signature hole here at Bonville. Tell us about it. It's another one of our signature holes, actually, but it's a great par three over water, 137 metres. Coming towards the end of the round, you've got a good round going. It's just asking one more question. <laughs> is it based on anything in, at Augusta? It is, it is. It's uh, similar to the 12th at Augusta, same length. Still got to carry the water, bunker behind to test you out. So very much the same. Well, we're your guest, your honour. See what we can do. Oh, just before you start, we like to have something on it. Yes. i tell you what, Mira and I would like a week at the resort, and i tell you what, you, if you beat us, you can guest star on one of our shows again. How's that? <laughs> Done. You on? Done. Oh, that's better. Not a bad shot, Brad, but there's nothing like a bit of pressure. You haven't seen Fade respond no, to pressure. Like... On that water yet. Oh, some good golf here, boys. Have I got it? Have I got it? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> so close. That's Sorry, a shame. Mate. I was really looking forward to a week here at Bomble. <laughs> I've had two days and it's pretty special. Oh. Tell you what, you going to go on the show? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the guest appearance. Yeah, you don't give up your day job, eh? <laughs> Tell you what, but you've got to put it in. You've got to put it in. All right. Put it in, you're on the show. So close yet so far. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Thanks, anyway, you can have that. <laughs> well played, mate. Thanks for showing us how celebrity, the celebrity hole really plays here. <laughs> Julian, I've been hooking the ball a lot lately. What have you got for me? Okay, so what we've got here is a couple of buckets set up in a formation that's going to create a bit of a, a bit of a gate for the swing to, for the club to swing through. 
Uh, what we're going to do with that is simply get the club moving a lot straighter on the way back rather than really flat like you've got the club at the moment and creating a nice straight swing on the way through. Okay, let's give it a go. So I'm swinging upright and it, it should straighten me up. Absolutely. Wow, certainly went a bit straighter, didn't it? Beautiful, well done. Like to win $800 worth of Oakley golf gear? The latest shoes, shirt, sunnies, pants, belt, $800 worth. Just tell us the name of the 2012 US Masters Champ sponsored by Oakley at facebook.com forward slash golf getaway TV and click on the Oakley tile. I'm with Mick Chatto, the executive chef here at Bonville Golf Resort. Mick. Have you heard of Mick Gatto? Yes, I have. I hear he does a mean Gatto too. Mick, you've come all the way up from Canberra, the young family, to Coffs Harbour. Why? Uh, mainly for the lifestyle to bring up our child and to come along here to Bonville Golf Course and work. Mm -hmm. You've come from a hatted restaurant, you're a hatted chef. Why would you come to a golf resort restaurant? Um, after doing a bit of research on Bonville, after seeing all the accolades they have won, it sort of really enticed me to come along and try to, try to push it further. Mm -hmm. And I believe they've now have a hat? Yeah they do and we're striving to, to keep that hat this year and, and keep going on forwards. Mm -hmm. Believe you love your local produce. Tell me about the Member Appreciation Day. Uh, Member Appreciation Day we found a, a bush lemon tree up there I think on the 17th, 17th hole and um, decided to make a sorbet out of it and serve it back in the bush lemon cups. Very good. So, really well. so you get all your food off the golf course is that, and then you oh, serve it? Hopefully one day. Good. And what's the what's the golfer's favourite food? Um, what do they ask you for the most? I'm I'm hoping it will eventually be full a la carte, but no, we we do do a range broad range of um, catering. So we do um, everyday catering out in the course, plus um, lunches in the restaurant, and then the fine dining at night. And what are you going to do for my dinner? Um, we've got a lovely 300 day grain fed Scotch fillet tonight, which will go down a treat with some red wine, jus and beans. All right, let's go and give it a crack. Excellent. Julian, I'm struggling with distance control with my putter. I just can't get enough consistency. What have you got for me? So a lot of people have trouble with getting the ball out of the middle of the putter in order to get the right sort of distance. Mm -hmm. It's not the only problem that people have, but it's a very important one. So I've just put a couple of bits of blue tack on the putter face there, on the heel and the toe, just to get you getting the ball right out of the middle of the putter, getting a consistent roll on it. Okay, so obviously if I miss hit it, there'll be a mark on the putter. That's it. Oh, gee, that felt good. A little bit strong, but you're getting the ball right out of the middle. It's great work. What a way to finish, Mirror. High five, 470 metre par five. Hit that saddle, and you're looking at one of the most glorious views in golf. They reckon it's one of the best finishing holes in the world. Pretty special fade, a lot like my score today. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that, mate. I was dazzled by the course's beauty. Righto, let's see if we can get one back here. Too good today, Mara. Thanks, mate. What a beautiful day out, eh? Yeah, great day. What a beautiful golf course. Loved it. Feel inspired to play great golf courses? Visit the IC Golf website, the home of social golf, for last-minute deals at a course near you. Book a round online today. Great courses, great deals at icgolf.com forward slash tee times. Oh, beautiful. Thank Thanks, you, Todd. Cheers. Well, Mara. Bonville, the Augusta of Australia. What do you think? Well, isn't it the Augusta? Check out those fairways carved out of those flooded gums. <laughs> when you're playing out there, it feels like that the trees are actually a big crowd. They really come in on you and they, you know, the serenity and the peace, they just blanket you and, uh, and the wildlife. The kookaburras laughing at every shot we had. Weren't they? You know what I love? You're in your room, 10 minutes you can be on a golf course, hitting a golf ball. Mm. And uh, that, that's got to be great, doesn't it? Mm. And we're only 10 minutes from Coffs Harbour. To Bonville. To Bonville. Cheers. Cheers. Well, there it is. I'm Andrew Mira McComb. And I'm Sean Fade Fame. We hope you enjoyed watching Bonville about as half as much as we did playing. For more videos, special offers and information, go to golfgetaway.com.au or like us at facebook.com forward slash golfgetawaytv. The Augusta of Australia. It was our privilege.
Bye for now.